So we already played this little part, I think. Did you play it as Evan Yeager? No, I did not. <sighs> Shit. No good. That shuttle's brain dead. Someone removed the navigation cards. God knows why. There's three of them scattered around the deck. I'm downloading their locations. I can't access the doors from here, so you'll need a crew key. If you can find those parts, I think we can get that shuttle operational again. I think that they're like creepily sitting here. Yeah, and that it all seems kind of like a religious, um, like setup. Like these people all were either dumped here or killed themselves. I like how you knocking over the um, candles does not make a fire somehow. Well, it's all metal, so I mean, what would light on fire? I don't know, a paper? That's a great point. Your mom's puss. Got him. Did we go in here? I don't know. This doesn't look familiar. This looks different. Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh. That hell? scared me and made me drop the cover. What cover? I was putting the sporn on my um, knuckle. Oh. Got it. Didn't even see what you were doing. I'm honestly kind of nervous to walk by this now. Uh, I'm sure nothing will get you. Alright. I don't know. I don't remember. No, no, no. We did come in here. I just didn't recognize the hallway. Are you okay? I'm trying to fix my stinky chair. You're doing a lot of random stuff over there. Yes, well. I'm very concerned. Oh, what? What's a schematic for an R suit? Oh. Nice. I, didn't, I, didn't I like even suits. I think there was an R suit, but okay. Um, and then we all Is got it going to look different? I mean, they all look slightly different. They're just variations of the same thing. That makes sense. But yeah, I mean, you see how much more advanced this one is. Mm hmm. It's got a lot of more metal stuff on it. Mm hmm. I just think it's sad you can't take a shower after all this crap. Well, I mean, t knowing this game, blood would probably come out of the shower, and then you'd be all sticky. That's true. That would be disgusting. Nobody, yeah. Nobody needs that. No. Pretty sure that we already saw this stuff, the Z-ball rolls. Step yeah. on the platform, activated. That's when we died on the Z-ball thing. Right. So we have to first kill all these guys, but then I'm wondering if you actually play Z-ball if you get something. Because uh. you probably get, like, a semiconductor, like what you did for doing that, um... Entering zero. Do you remember that one... Yeah, I bet we'd probably get something for it, and yeah, I remember you talking about that shooting thing. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, but I was confused and anxious about this. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of scary. Okay, well that Wait. worked out. He dropped a frame feet. I'm just kind of going to push this with the cutter. I don't know. From my understanding, we should be getting actually fairly close to the end of the game. Oh, really? Yeah. Yay! End game! Is Thor gonna show up? No. Well, Not unless he's fat, because fat people are funny, right? <laughs> I guess. Uh, fat people are funny. No one, the writers of that game. <laughs> this man is fat! I kind of thought it was a little bit mean that they made fun of him being bigger. It was, like, actually kind of disrespectful to that bigger people, but... Well, I mean, it was, but, like, it just reminded me of really outdated comedy. That's why I was making fun of it, cause... It did. It reminded me of that, too, and I don't get why more people didn't talk about how it was kind of, kind of mean. I didn't even think about... Like, I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong, because you're not wrong, but I didn't even think about it that way. I just thought, like, what is this, like, a 2005 sitcom? Like, what, what are we doing here? Like, Honestly. My, my issue... I thought I heard something. My issue was that Thor was so cool in Infinity War. Yeah. And then he wasn't even cool until the end of Endgame. End game. Yeah, it wasn't fair. It's like they just, like, gave up on his character. And, like, to be fair, I guess, like, they were trying to portray him, like, feeling like a failure and giving up after getting so close to Thanos and not being able to kill him. But I felt like they could have portrayed that in a better way rather than making fun of him and making his character a joke. Yeah, I still like what they did with him because at the end I liked that he kind of redeemed himself and became, you know, normal badass Thor again. Mm -hmm, me too. But I agree that I would have gone a different way with that. What is a nav guard? Oh. Sub-objective complete. 
I'm sure this is something I was supposed to know about. Oh, find the navigation cards. Okay. Oh, good. So there was a purpose to that. So let's actually try this now that there's no enemies here. Mm -hmm. Starting game, level one. He's supposed to shoot it? I thought you were supposed to grab it and then score. Oh. Right? Uh, I don't know. I guess. I think there's like things flying around you too. I think it's just the air. Oh. So can you put it in any color you want? Oh no, let's try. That one came from red, but now it looks blue. Let's put it in yellow. I got a five. Or I got two points for that. You use that less than normal? No, I think it was more. What was the point of going here? This game kind of seems a little stupid. I just don't see the point. No, me neither. I mean, whatever. Multiplier? I'm sure that there is a point, because they did tell us the rules, right? Yeah, but we didn't read them again. I'll look at it after this, because if you can get something from this, it might be useful for the end of the game. Mm-hmm. Because that... Uh, gold or was it ruby semiconductor that I got for the other one was worth over a whole power now. Yeah, I think it was a, a, a yeah, I don't remember which one it was. I think there's like it, a I, gold, ruby, and maybe diamond, I don't know. Something like that. I thought there was an emerald one. I don't remember that, but there could be. I don't know. The, just don't one know one's either. worth more than the others. Uh huh. Honestly, like, I'm not tired of this game, but I'm at the point where we have... I feel like we played it over too long of a period of time. Yeah. And I would like to move on to a different game. Me too. And so sometimes I forget the stuff that they're telling me. Sometimes I forget the stuff that they're telling us, too. Especially since we need breaks in between sometimes and we don't play for a couple weeks at a time. Game over. Do you get fries? I don't know. Do you want to look up and see if you do? Um, I don't have my phone. Level I don't know two. where I put it. That's... Uh... Why didn't you go back and look at the rules before you did this? Because that was boring as all hell. What was? This. This. I, this I... is the most boring thing I've ever watched in my life. I didn't try and start it. I tried to leave. Oh. And it just started level two. Honestly, part of it was I like getting yelled at. That makes sense. You you got a kink for that, huh? I don't. Yeah, I don't really see what's interesting about this. I, after this, well, like level two, I'm leaving. Oh yeah. But I was just trying to see if you got anything. I don't know. Maybe there's like a point to these colors. But, like, the ball comes back and looks the same every time. It does to me. <laughs> so, like, there's no indicator as to which one you're supposed to put it in. In the game's defense, they did give us the rules, and we skimmed it because we said, we already read this, this is boring. Uh-huh. So that's kind of our fault. Well, in our defense, this game should be a bit more intuitive. This sport? Yeah, if, like, your minigame in your, in your video game isn't very intuitive, I think you need to redesign it. Well, maybe, but the thing is, like, an, an actual sport is not intuitive. Like, if if I told you, now play football, and you had never seen it, you wouldn't know what you're doing. That's because football's fucking dumb. And so is every other sport that's ever been created. I don't they're think, all stupid. I don't think they're dumb. Just because you don't like them doesn't mean they're dumb. I can only think of, like, two sports that I think are interesting. Right. And that's, like, lacrosse and, um, maybe volleyball. So you picked a boring one. Did I? Nobody cares about lacrosse. I think lacrosse is interesting because it was created by the Native Americans. That makes it good. No, I just thought it was interesting because of their I know, culture. I, I know, I was just joking. I'm keeping this ball. Nice. They can't stop me. Yeah, they can. Reward locker. Oh. Oh. So you get to unlock these lockers? 
I don't know, like, maybe I missed these lockers. Are these the reward locker? Yeah, those are the reward lockers. They were all locked before. Oh, I see. Okay, so... Let's look at this real quick. I don't think all sports are dumb, by the way. I'm gonna dial that back. I just don't care about sports. I feel like I, that's different. I think most of them are just very boring to me. To watch? Yeah, but I think that if you actually go out and play them, it's fun. Like, if you are... You know? Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, playing basketball, like, when you get to play it with people you like is fun. But when you are forced to do a sport during PE class with a bunch of kids that you don't like who are way more athletic than you and faster runners than you and don't have asthma, it's, like, the worst and most boring thing in the world because you feel like all you can do is stand there while everyone else takes the ball all the time. Well, I'd also say that when you're forced to do anything in school, it doesn't help. That's true. Like, your interest in those things. And also, by the way, I'm on chapter 10, right? Yeah. I was trying to find the thing that talked about the rules. Oh, Z-Ball rules. So, some of the platform activated to start the game. Jump to as many scoring platforms as possible to increase your score multiplier. Then use your kinesis module to grab the ball and shoot it into the active basket before the shot timer runs out. Beating each level opens a locker with a reward inside. That's so, nice. So, technically... If I try this one more time here, what I was going to say is if I do, so like that's a scoring one, and now if I, I guess go here, and now I grab, where's the ball? It's not coming out. Oh, uh, it's, it says 15, it's counting down. Yeah, because you're supposed to be shooting the ball, but it didn't give you a ball. No, I think I'm supposed to be going to as many of these as possible. The correct platform. I but think the ball's still on the ground where you left it, though. No, here. Here's the ball. Oh. Wait. It made a noise. B look towards the door where you came in. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, I don't know. I thought the ball was still over there. See, there it is. So I don't understand. What what did they mean by the multiplier then? Like, I oh, don't know. so did I glitch the ball? I think you did. Oh, I see. Okay, so because I have the ball, it's not letting it start. That makes sense. But I'm trying to figure out how you'd reset the ball, then. Would you have to just put it in there to yeah. start? Yeah. Because I wanted to see what you get if you actually try. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, why don't you try it now that the ball's reset? Level three. So, you try and... There's no... Nothing's open. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. So, yeah, it does. It does give you more. This is a confusing game. It's kind of weird. I don't think I like it very much. I don't like it very much either. That shooting game was way more fun. It was. And I don't like the disorientation of having to, like, jump to a bunch of different stupid platforms. Because, like, look, the scoreboard's upside down now. I know, and it's it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. If they were going to design this on the ship, they could have at least put scoreboards on the top and on the sides, too, so you could always see it no matter where you were. You know what's funny, too? What? The, the bodies of these guys are in the way. Yeah. So, like, when I'm trying to grab the ball, I literally grabbed a body part. Nice. And now I don't know where the ball is. Yeah, I, mean, I just don't see it, do you? This is like a game of shitty, lonely basketball. <laughs> That's actually a good way to describe it. But where's the ball? That's the problem. I don't know. Do you want to just leave? I mean, I can. I just wanted to know what you got from it. But I guess it doesn't matter because the mini game is really obnoxious. Yay. Okay, well, here's the thing. I get your point. Oh, shit. 
I get your point, but here's the thing. Like, don't you want to be able to get the nodes and upgrade modules and stuff? No, I do, I do. It's just that was, like, mind-numbing. Look, I'm not disagreeing with you. My problem is that when they locked a bunch of rewards behind that game, my, uh, sorry, my... Well, do you want to... No, 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 I don't, I don't need to do it. Because I was getting mad at it, too, but, like, I can't pick that up. Well, I just thought it was, like, really dumb that they locked, like, a million rewards behind a shitty game. Like, they couldn't lock some rewards uh, behind a better game. Right, no, and I agree like, with you. Like, look at all of those lockers in there. Like, all of those lockers in the locker room were rewards that you ran past. I don't know if they all were. Yeah, because they were all locked. Right, but we go by locked lockers all the time. So maybe some of them weren't, but at least enough of them were that it's annoying. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, like, I just... The thing is... I get your point, but it's not like it was a waste of time to try it. No, it, it wasn't a waste of time. It was just annoying. not good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Hickey. Is that one of the people that we were supposed to step on? No, I think I stepped on all those people. Huh. Well, it's a good thing you did, because it looks like a lot of them are, like, coming for you. Well, there's this thing. This would have turned all of them into enemies. Yeah. So I guess you had a pretty good idea there, huh? Well, somebody in the comments had told me that I should do that before, so that's why I did. Ew, oh, that guy's like pushing the table, I hate it. Ew. He's like so disgusting looking. I'm pretty sure... Man, I don't think there's anything else that can be brought back. Otherwise, this room would have been hell. Yeah. Like, there... I don't know how I would have done this. Let's play this game uh, again, but on hard mode and never stomp on any bodies. I literally wanted to die playing this game on hard mode. I <laughs> usually enjoy hard mode, but this game was so annoying. Is it unbalanced? I don't know. I just think I wasn't very good at it. I mean, like, it's not really like... Do you want to go up the elevator and stop looking around? Sorry. When you <laughs> kill someone, they drop stuff. I found one thing, so I was looking to make sure I didn't miss something. <laughs> I was just picking on you. I mean, if you want, I can just... Oh, well, look, an item. I guess I don't no, need that. No, walk past that. I don't, I don't want it. I don't need that. I'm just picking on you. <laughs> what, were you on... what were you saying before about hard mode being shitty? It was just annoying. Also, uh, United, we ascend in Unitology, A New Hope, or just at our scam by Kerry Van Atkin. If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts a following of millions, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims $78 billion of stock in multi-global companies, and owns two of Earth's largest financial institutions. Wow. Um, but uh, Unitology has become a respected, established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a professor of anthropology, blew the whistle on what he claimed was the biggest cover-up ever instituted by the Earth government, the discovery of an artifact or the marker, which proved beyond any doubt that there is alien life in the universe. The government labeled Altman a kook, but his claims struck a chord with some, and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest. So basically, they tried to cover it up, and they made it bigger. Uh -huh. Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key to eternal life, through rebirth and ascension to heaven. The kicker is you have to die first. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there's a dark side. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe there are at least three ranks above the average believer or initiate with each new rank. More of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to a follower, and these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think taking all your money is bad? The church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they do with them? Nobody will say. And attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed with their emphasis on transformation and rebirth. Maybe we wouldn't like the answer even if they told us. One rumor that also refuses to die says the church is funding some secret shipbuilding program. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary, ev documentary evidence has ever been supplied. But the claimants all say these mausoleum ships, despite their size, despite their huge size, something. That's it. That's the whole article. So. That's your answers, by the way, to some of the religious stuff. Also, this. So this I ship can't... was probably built by them. There we go. I couldn't pick that up. 
Well, I'm glad you got it. I don't know if this ship, if the Ishimura was built by them, or if just, um, if they are so, you know, deep in all this stuff that they, um, had people on the ship. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why I don't know. Sorry, and, I was trying to get my... And then they found the marker, and I assume they were using people's bodies, like, keeping them... And then, once they eventually found the marker, they were going to use the marker on them to make them into these things. The necromorphs? That's yeah. very possible. I think the higher-ups knew of the necromorphs, and that's what they were saying was eternal life. Is like, when you die, you become that this thing. thing, and then you live forever-ish. That seems like a shitty way to live forever. Yeah, but other people thought it was like a romanticized thing. Other people thought it was like, when you go to heaven where everything's okay and happy. And when you actually get to be yourself. But this is like turning into some kind of hive mind creature. Yeah, and like the initiates didn't know that. They thought it was better than that. No. No, no, no. The shuttle is mine. I control access to the shuttle. If I could make the journey, I could fix everything. I'm sorry, Mr. Clark. Unless you can prove to me you can get it space-worthy again, I'm afraid I can't let you through. I need to know you're on my side. Okay, everyone around here is absolutely nuts. So, is he trying to get the shuttle where? We don't know yet. He wants to make a flight. Okay. Maybe the shuttle was beyond that. Oh, oh no. What do you cling to when all must seem so utterly hopeless around you? Dr. Cross was a true believer. She had faith. And now she awaits her transformation. Her rebirth. Are you ready to ascend, Mr. Temple? Of course you are. Have no fear. You will play your part soon enough. Witness the conviction of a true believer! They're ready. Take them. Embrace them. Great. Love that. That was fun. Okay. Why is everyone on this ship fucking insane? I don't know. Where is he going? Up an elevator? I guess. Yeah. Down. Okay. Great. Well, the elevator came back. Nice. That was nice of it. I wanted to shoot the guy's limbs. Uh, yeah, well, I think you'll be able to get around there. No, I know, but this seems like it's set up so that I'll go over there and he'll be turned into a necromorph immediately. Oh. And my my goal with that was just to make him a less powerful necromorph by taking out his legs immediately. You know, in the Ishimura's Prime, this little area oh, no. with like this um, bar and stuff, it sounds a little like cozy. Like, you know, you could come here, have a meal, have some company with your Ishimura friends, not die. Oh, my word. I agree with you. I'm sorry, I'm just getting kind of uh, worried here. It's okay. What are you, that guy? Shh, shh, shh. Everything's gonna be okay. Embrace the next life. I'm good. I'll pass. Okay, so there's a guy outside of this room who is going to be a problem. Yeah, well, I mean, you could just spare his life. But this wants me to go this way. So mm -hmm. I guess we will. Yeah, you're right. I mean, this ship would have been pretty nice. I mean, it's more, yeah, it would have been great. It's kind of like a alien type, um, kind of like the Nostromo. Yeah. Very like mining based and industrial. And cool looking. Oh my word. Ew, they're wearing like little jackets. Ew, what is uh, this? The crooked man? It's called being stylish, please. <laughs> no one, Anakin Skywalker, with a stupid fucking. Cape? What do you mean? What's wrong with Darth Vader's cape? It's a cool cape, but that's what it looks like. 
like skinny man walking around with a cape thinking it looks he looks cool. But the difference is he does look cool. I guess that's true. He does look cool. Darth Vader is one of the coolest designed characters of all time. Okay, okay, I agree with you. I'm just making fun of him. No, I will not let this injustice and ineptitude stand. You're making fun of Darth Vader, one of the most iconic characters ever created. People look at him and they know who he is. Not gonna lie, if I was a Jedi and I ran into Darth Vader, I'd join the dark side and bend over for him. I would just poop my pants. Oh no, he's gonna take my hat. I would have bent over for him. I would have been like, shove that lightsaber inside of me, daddy. Oh my, well, uh, Padme did that. <laughs> and she liked it too. Well, yeah, she ended up getting, uh, discovering her choke fetish though. Oh well. Alright, oh my. Okay, this seems like I'm playing like an idiot. Way harder than it looks. I don't think you're playing like an idiot. I think these things just keep hitting you over and over before you have a chance to move, and it looks fucking annoying. And that is because it is. Oh, I want that green ball killer. Ah. I don't know if they're all dead or not, but... That one's coming towards you. Oh, oh, I didn't see it. I I'm tried sorry. to tell you. I know you did, but I didn't see him. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Is that a hand? I don't know. Oh, it kind of does look like a hand. Yeah. Icky. You missed. Well, this this thing... Is it dead? I thought it went on the ceiling. Oh, jeez. Okay. Why don't I walk around and get those boxes? We will. We will. I want the boxes. Give me the boxes. Oh, man. I hate these things. Me too, they kind of make me sad. They make me sad too, because I feel like they're still partially human. Yeah. You know... And screaming for help. This game has a lot of really, really fucked up things in it. Yeah, I know. It's a bit much. I mean, I love it. But it is actually kind of depressing. And disgusting. <laughs> at points. I know, I know. I was looking outside. Does it bother you if I don't pick up the thing right away? It bothers me to no end. Why? Why does because it bother you? Because I just need you to get that thing before but we look around. I don't understand. Like, what's wrong? Like, me looking around is part of me finding stuff. I just... I, I don't... Every time I see something, I just need to get it immediately or nothing's right in the world. Right. Well, you're going to need to settle down. I will never settle down. No, Do I look like no you're, doubt? You're going to have to settle down, otherwise it's just gonna become annoying. Did you like my stupid reference? I didn't get the reference. Oh, um, that band Gwen Stefani was in called No Doubt. They made a song a few years ago called Settle Down. I never knew Gwen Stefani was in a band even. Oh, oh. look, you didn't even see this one. No, I saw it. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I did. I don't believe you. I tried to tell you where it was. And you, you didn't, didn't see that either, and part of me looking around was finding that thing. This is why you're bad at games. Hey! Why are you yelling? Because that was mean. So we yell when things are mean? Yeah. Oh, look, something I found by looking around instead of just... No, I saw that in the cutscene. Randomly... Mr. Clark, I really must speak with you. I'm very close to your position, and... And I know you want to hear what I have to say. I can explain all this. But what happened? When you have the nav cards, I'll let you into the security station. We must talk. Hurry. Earlier you said you didn't want me to come in there. No, you said you didn't want us to come inside the shuttle. Oh. No one Isaac marching when he's walking over like sticky things. Well, it feels icky. I'm sure it, it is. It makes him wumpy. You know, I think what? it would be a cool job to be the bartender on this ship. It would have been. Till this. Yes, well. Uh, space Ninja, Zero G Insanity, Shaolin Space Ninja. La La, Sale Begins Wednesday, Shop E. Ultimate Be Praised. Hey, there's a reference to the Unitology. Gross. Rancid Moon. So, like, did they just, like, send movies to ship for people to watch for entertainment? Like, from Earth? Maybe. I mean, in Star Trek, that's what they did. They had, like, uh. Well, I mean, in Star Trek Enterprise, to be fair, this is like a prequel to Star Trek. They had a database of movies, and people would have movie nights. Aw, that's nice. For the crew and stuff. That sounds fun. Get the big guy first. 
Oh, oh no. Okay, sorry, I'm focusing. That's okay. A lot of people at you coming at once. Oh, you got that guy. Just trying to take this out. Yes, once you get him down, he won't lay any more of those weird egg things. 